Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Vortex activity using this Vortex template which is a notebook file. Um, so it's for your interactive white book using smart notebook software. You can download it here. And when you have downloaded it, when you have downloaded it, sorry, it will look something like this. Okay, as with many of these other templates, three slides. The first having nothing to do with the Vortex template. It's just a place where you can click a few times to insert your heading and click a few times to insert some introductory or instructional text. Slide two is the actual template file or the actual template slide where you will create your activity. And slide three is where I've made a previous activity. Let's have a look at how that works. Okay, so we've got two categories and that's what the Vortex um, activity is based on. It's a category activity. And we've got to identify which of these words down the bottom fits into which category. So, terrestrial planets. Let's have a look. Is Venus a terrestrial planet? Yes. Disappears into the Vortex. Is Mars a terrestrial planet? Yes disappears into the vortex. What about Saturn? No, it comes spinning back. Okay, so if you drag it and you drop it in the right place it'll disappear in there and if you drag it and drop it in the wrong place it's going to spin back out. Okay, so um, that's what it looks like but how do you create it? Okay, go to slide 2 and click on the edit button up in the top left hand corner. Alright, Vortex label 1 and label 2. You simply type in whatever your categories are, okay? And in this case we're doing terrestrial planets and gas giants, okay? Um, now, the space for 16 labels down the bottom here um, but you can just put in as few or as many as you'd like. So we'll start with Mercury, okay, and that's a terrestrial planet. And we might go to next, um, start at the other end and go Neptune, okay, and then Venus. Okay, and it's just a matter of typing them in. Couldn't really be much easier than that. And I'll just pause it while I type the rest in, which I've just done. And now the activity is finished. Okay, you simply press OK. And there it is, much the same as you saw in the example. And just one thing, as I say with a lot of these templates, in this example, the kids can, your students can still actually edit this and they can go and change things around and say, no, Mercury is a gas giant, which is not. Okay, so if you don't want your kids to be able to edit it, simply click in the box under the word password and type in a password that you remember and click in that little checkbox and that prevents the students from being able to edit it unless, uh, you, unless they know the password. Okay. All right. That's it. I hope it's easy to follow and I hope you and your students get enjoyment out of that. Thank you.